بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب may Allah سبحانه وتعالى rectify our hearts and rectify our affairs and unite the hearts of أهل السنة والجماعة to be able to be a source of guidance and light for the rest of the Ummah, the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ayyul Ahbab, the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasalam said, Ittaqullah wa sam'i wa ta'a o wa alaykum bi sam'i wa ta'a wa in abdin habashiyan fa man ya'ishu man ya'ishu minkum ba'di fa sayara ikhtilafan kathira fa alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati khulafa rashidin al mahdiin adu alayha bi nawadij bi nawadij wa iyyakum wa muhtathar al umur fa inna kullu bid'atin dhalala Ayul Ahbab, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in a hadith mashhoor, Qala alayhi salatu wasalam, Fear Allah and hear and obey. Even if the leader were an Ethiopian slave. And whoever lives after me will see many differences. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, gave us the rectification of that those differences. So he said, so whoever lives after me will see many differences. So it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors. Cling to it with your molar teeth. And beware of newly innovated, innovated matters because every newly innovated matter leads astray. Ayul Ahbab, when we look at some of the petty differences that we see between our brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah, it grieves the heart and it weighs heavily upon the heart. And the reason being is a lot of the fitna is unnecessary. And most of the chaos and the harming and the belittling of one another and the trampling on the honor of one another has no benefit and no substance. And primarily this is due to many reasons. Sometimes it is desires. Sometimes someone wants uh, position and status so that they seem to be, uh, it, it makes them feel they are authentic as du'at to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So then they belittle their brothers in order to raise their status by the more refutations they accumulate. And many other reasons that this can happen. But one of the reasons that we need to analyze is for this differing is due to the fact of not knowing how to differ. And Ayul Ahbab, I'm speaking from experience and looking at these issues from having been involved in some of these issues and witnessing some of these issues amongst many students of knowledge around the world in Yemen and Saudi Arabia the UK America Ethiopia Indonesia I've seen it spread around the world while Ahl Bidah while Ahwa 
sits comfortable and spreads their dawa. And the people, many people, begin to accept their dawa because they only find confusion when they see what goes and takes place between our brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah. So then that drives them to be deterred from the dawa to Ahl Sunnah and be less accepting to the dua. To, uh, to the uh, Dawah of Ahl Sunnah. And then the Dawah becomes stigmatized. Ayul Ahbab, many of our ulama, and before them, from the Salaf of this Ummah, gave us the fiqh of how to differ. And differences, Ayul Ahbab, there is differences which they call tadad ikhtilaf tadad wa ikhtilaf at-tanawwa ikhtilaf at-tadad it means this is when you have differences that cannot be reconciled meaning these difference these differences on an issue are polar opposites for example we don't say that the differences between Ahl Sunnah and the Ashairah is Tanawa. La, it's Tadad. Meaning we are polar opposites. Ahl Sunnah affirms the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without trying to make ta'wil of those sifat. We accept them and affirm them as Allah uh, has uh, affirmed them. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has affirmed them. Alayhi salatu wa sallam. Whereas the Ashaira, they look at those differences, or they have their their own interpretation. For example, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al karim ar rahman ala arsh istawa, Allah says, and the most merciful rose above his throne. Ahl Sunnah, we say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. We don't ask how. And we don't negate that and we don't change the meaning to say it means his affairs or that it means power or it means istola, that, that Allah took the throne by force or, or, or any of the other interpretations that many of the other sects say. That's ikhtilaf tadad. That means those, those differences, they contradict one another in totality. The other ikhtilaf which is the ikhtilaf more often you find between Ahl Sunnah is ikhtilaf to nowhere. That sometimes you'll have an alam or many issues in fiqh that you'll have different uh, aqwal from the imams of the sunnah that they interpret the understanding of the ahadith and the fiqh ruling in a different manner. Not negating the text, not interpreting based on their desires, but re- interpreting based on ilm, based on fiqh, based on basira and insight. So sometimes in an issue, for example, let's look at an issue in tafsir. Whereas, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem, wa'tasimu bihabli lai jami'an, wa la tafarraku. And hold all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah, and do not divide. The mufassireen, they have, uh, from the tabi'een and and from the Sahaba with Tabi'een, with Ba'a Tabi'een, they differ, have ikhtilaf a tanawa. And in looking at this particular ayat and seeing this differences, one of the good tafsirs to go to is Imam Baghawi. And you'll see the different aqwal, the different statements of the ulama, the mufassireen from the Tabi'een. With regards to Hablillah, some of them say Hablillah means uh, the Quran. Some of them say the Hablillah means the Sunnah. Some of them say it means the Sunnah and the Quran. So it, it, it encompasses 
both, and some say it's the jama'ah. All of that, that is what they call ikhtilaf tanawa, meaning that those explanations do not, in reality, differ, or they're not far apart in their meaning and their differences. They don't contradict one another. In fact, they are encompassing of one another, those differences. So those are differences, I guess you might say, of degree. Differences of degree might be a good in, in, uh, translation. Whereas the other difference that we mentioned is the differences with regarding uh, complete opposites. Ayol Ahbab, the relevance for us here is when we look at some of the differences between our brothers from Ahlul Sunnah, sometimes we see that it's it's ikhtilaf to Noah. Or... It may be ikhtilaf tadal at times as well. The problem is, and this is the crux of what I wanted to speak about, is they do not know how to deal with their differences. For example, in one particular case, I know of a da'i from Ahlul Sunnah, who was known for his calling to the Sunnah and known by some of our ulama, especially in, in Saudi Arabia, that some of his statements he made, some were mistakes and otherwise, and some were actually not mistakes, but perhaps the people who uh, thought they were mistakes, they misunderstood because we have a, a, a salaf for these statements, like Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and then some of our modern uh, day ulama as well, mentioned the same thing, but yet the brothers took what the speaker said out of context. Where the problem lied is they didn't go to him and him being known as a caller from Ahl Sunnah to correct those things or clarify. But rather they took, they compiled from his many tapes, listening to lectures from years and years, and compiled and immediately went. Some of them traveled all the way to Saudi Arabia, probably not for that purpose, obviously, to make Umrah and so forth, but to bring that compiled information to some of the Mashaykh. Why? Was that to correct the brother? Was that to clarify the issue? Or was it to break him down? So, Ayyul Ahbab, this is what I'm talking about, that we have to learn to understand how to differ, especially amongst Ahlul Sunnah, and some of the beautiful books that are written, that are translated into English, for those who have concern about these issues, that you can download for free. There's a book called Advice to Ahlul Sunnah by Sheikh Ibrahim Ar-Rahili, Hafidullah Ta'ala, one of our Mashaykh of Medina, one of the professors at Jama Islamiyah. There's also another fantastic book by Sheikh Abdul Masan Al-Abbad, Allama, Muhaddith, one of the great teachers in the Haram, in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Masjid. And those two books are very beneficial and they're in English to where you can benefit and see the details of some of these issues on how we should deal with our differences. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq, forgive us for all of our sins. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. اللهم إني أعوذ بك أن أشرك بك وأنا أعلم واستغفرك لمن أعلم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم